Hello everyone. IPC welcomes you to one of the unique uh, fellowship which has come up uh, under IPC University that is a, a one year hybrid fellowship in spine. So this is a uh, why this is unique fellowship because uh, uh, this is a first of its kind uh, a hybrid fellowship where we have uh, online lectures. Uh, we'll have the live operative workshops uh, at IPC uh, Delhi. We'll have the hands-on academic workshop, which will be uh, in a, one of the most advanced uh, academic lab of India. And we'll be doing, throughout the year, we'll be doing the live telecast of the procedures, uh, whatever interesting cases what we have. Uh, this uh, um, spine fellowship is basically meant for the people who are actually practicing spine interventions, who are into the pain management, who, are, who knows the basics about the pain management. Uh, this fellowship we are going to cover in three modules, uh, where we'll be doing advanced spine interventions. Uh, second module will cover the vertebral augmentation system, that is vertebroplasty and kyphoplasty and uh, targeted cementoplasties. Uh, the third module will be covering the spine endoscopy in detail uh, and we'll be touching upon the spine percutaneous spine fixation uh, procedures also. Uh, why it is important to uh, uh, learn these uh, techniques? Because now we as a pain physicians, we are moving from the uh, conservative or the uh, supportive treatments to the more of the definitive treatments like endoscopies, vertebroplasties, uh, other uh, interventional procedures. So that is why it is important to understand the, the anatomy, the uh, pathophysiology is, is very important. And as we know that uh, spine is a very complex structure. We have, whenever we reach our target area before that, reaching our target area, we have to cross many important structures. And also around the spine, we have many important structures which have to, which we must know thoroughly. We must understand the anatomy very well before we start in doing the uh, advanced interventional procedures. In the entire fellowship, we'll be focusing more on the uh, uh, detailed anatomy of each and every uh, structure. We'll be correlating all the structures with the MRI. We'll be discussing about the pathophysiologies, the pathologies which are seen. Uh, on the cadaver sections and also will be correlating them with the MRI findings. Uh, also, we'll be seeing the different uh, structures which are visible on MRI, their relationship with the other structures and the pathologies, and this is how we can target the uh, structures. So for this, it is important to understand the MRI, understand the anatomy, understand the pathophysiology of the uh, disease. This is what we are going to uh, do thoroughly in our uh, spine uh, fellowship program. We we'll also see the we we'll also the various measurements which are which we can use to target our uh, pathological areas. So this is how we are going to uh, study the, the entire uh, fellowship. Also, we will be having a detailed uh, lectures on the uh, radio frequency procedures where we're discussing more on the anatomy the. Uh, the mechanism of action of the radio frequency procedures, uh, uh, how it acts and what should be our target, what are the factors which affect these, the lesion of these um, uh, uh, radio frequencies. And also, we'll also learn how to do the correct technique because this is very important to reach the target areas. Uh, there are multiple techniques given the textbooks. So it is important to understand the perfect technique so all these techniques, whatever we are going to discuss in the uh, entire program, will be uh, virtually supported with the with the anatomy of the spine also. So we'll we'll see the models along with that, and we'll see the fluoroscopic images, and how we'll and we'll see that how we can do the best procedures, best possible uh, techniques, so that we have a best possible results. We'll be seeing the pathophysiology of the various disc procedures, various spine procedures. And depending on the pathophysiology, pathology, which is seen on the MRI and the clinical correlation and how we can select our interventional procedure for that particular kind of uh, pathology. Uh, our one of the module uh, will be covering extensively on the percutaneous disc decompression, that is uh, also the endoscopic disc decompression. Uh, before going for the endoscopic disc decompression, we must know the anatomy very well. Uh, we must know the anatomy of the spine, philosophic anatomy of the spine, 
and also the endoscopic anatomy of the spine. So these three things we are going to cover extensively in, uh, in our um, fellowship program. Uh, we'll see what are the approaches which are available, which we can perform to, to target our uh, fragments, whatever is the fragments are there. So depending on the type of the fragment, we have to approach these fragments in a, uh, to a different uh, angulations. So all these we, we are going to discuss. Also in one, one of the module is on the vertebral augmentation. So we'll be covering the entire anatomy of the vertebral bodies, the fractures uh, in the dorsal spine, in the lumbar spine, in the uh, sacral regions, and in also in the peripheral bones, because we are also going to learn about the targeted cementoplasties, which is very, very important for the uh, patients with the uh, metastasis, not in only in the spine, but also in the long bones of the body. So we are going to discuss how to uh, also, we are going to uh, um, uh, learn about uh, medical management and the osteoporosis uh, management, uh, conservative management of these osteoporotic compression fractures. Uh, we'll have the extensive coverage of the uh, topic and um, uh, there we will be discussing about the uh, various equipments and uh, uh, surgical equipments and uh, machines what we use for the interventional pain procedures. So we'll have one entire lecture on the different uh, endoscopes, the, the angulation, what we use for the different type of endoscopes, what we use, the bar, what we use for the for anatomy, and uh, various uh, uh, graspers and uh, and uh, for um, equipments, what we use. Also, we are we going to see what other body plasty cement, how it functions, and how, it, how what what is the best way to use these uh, body plasty needles and of uh, cement. And also, we'll discuss about the various machines which we use during the interventional pain procedures like radio frequency uh, ma machine. Uh, during the entire uh, fellowship uh, with every procedure, we'll be discussing uh, about the complications and uh, uh, the troubleshooting, how to avoid these complications and also how to manage these complications, how, how to identify these complications. So for every procedure that will be backed with the uh, complications and its management. Also, we'll have uh, special lectures on uh, advanced, very advanced uh, uh, spine interventions like uh, uh, spinal costumator and intrathecal pumps. We'll be touching them upon and then uh, uh, we'll have one lecture on the uh, spinal costumator and intrathecal pump. So in the entire fellowship will be covered uh, with the online lectures with video demonstrations. So we'll have two lectures every month on Sunday. Uh, all, the, all these lectures will be of four to five hours of duration. Uh, depending on the uh, topic uh, with uh, 20 minutes of break in between. Uh, but what is important is uh, that these online lectures are the two-way communication. We are going to discuss each and every topic in detail. We want your participation in each and every lecture. Until and unless you won't ask the questions, new things will not come out. It will be too boring for every person who is attending this uh, fellowship. So come out with the come out with the questions. Whenever you have any doubt, you can stop our uh, faculty and they will answer your questions. So try to make it more interactive, as more as interactive as possible. Uh, this is what we, I mentioned that we'll have the live telecast of the interventional procedures, uh, which means uh, whenever we have some interesting cases uh, in the OT uh, at our center at our hospital, uh, we'll do the live telecast. We will inform you well in advance. So that if, if you are available, you can do, you can attend this live telecast, or you can, you'll be shared the uh, recording of these telecast, uh, of the recording of these procedures. Uh, we'll have three days of cadaver workshop in the month of uh, uh, June or July. Somewhere we'll inform you well in advance. Uh, that will be uh, in MS Romaya uh, Medical Institute. This is a very advanced uh, uh, cadaver lab. So that is uh, for the three days. We'll do extensive hands-on training on cadaveric uh, workshop. Also, we'll have at the end, that is final year of the uh, fellowship, that is in the month of December, we'll have 10 days of live operative workshop. Here, where you will be seeing the live operative uh, cases uh, in the OT at IPC India Hospital uh, in Delhi. And also, uh, you'll get a chance to assist the main uh, uh, interventionist uh, with you. 
So that you'll get a chance. You may not be able to do it independently, but uh, you'll get a chance to assist uh, in the interventional procedures, whether it is a vertebrastomy or it is an endoscopy or it is a RF procedures or any advanced uh, procedures. So I welcome all of you. Uh, join us and be a part of the IPSC varsity. Uh, uh, we have trained more than 1500 doctors from all over the world so far. And this is the first advanced uh, uh, fellowship which has come out, one year fellowship, which is a hybrid fellowship. And uh, this, the certificate will be given at the end of the uh, 10th day of the live operative workshop. We'll have one small uh, uh, exit exam that will be based on the medical uh, uh, multiple choice questions. Uh, so that will be on the final day of the live operative uh, workshop. That will that means somewhere in the month of December. So I welcome all of you again, once again, for this Pine Fellowship. This is a one year hybrid fellowship where we'll have live operative workshops, cadaveric workshops, live um, uh, telecast of the intervention procedures. We'll have every month two lectures of three to five year hours of duration and that will be an extensive coverage of the spine interventional procedures, including the vertebrosity and uh, endospectrum. Thank you so much. <laughs>